Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Solomon. I'm the deputy mayor of Addis Ababa. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I just want to have a short word before uh, going to my presentation. The mayor couldn't make it yesterday here. Uh, he had uh, an obligation. He was out of Addis Ababa. And he's really sorry. He told me to tell you in his words that he's hurt to fall, feels uh, so, uh, sorry for that. And he told me to extend his approaches for you, for you all. Uh, honorary guests here and, and the people from LSB, the London School of Economics. I'm sorry, we, we are so honored to have this conference here, the Ranish Conference here in Addis Ababa, because we know the professionals, uh, different or, uh, heads of the staffs, as well as the experts here in Addis Ababa, will benefit from the conference. But as well, definitely, you will have also an experience in Addis that you could really reflect more in the activities that we are really doing. And thank you. Okay, well, uh, it's a five minute presentation, so it will be very difficult to give you a very detail of the transport system in Addis. But to give you a quick picture, if you see the picture on the left side, where the existing situation is, we have 54, more than 54% people are working, while 31% is uh, the modal share in the public transport. So if you see, it looks like a green uh, kind of transport system, very much an ideal scenario. But uh, won't this won't be sustainable at all. So at the city, we want to make sure that the people who are uh, mainly working need, a, because we know basically, we, uh, we know they will definitely transfer to a faster mode of transport. So instead of moving to their own vehicles, so we want to make sure that we retain at least a majority of the pe people working to a faster mode of public transport. So in that way, we can have at least, may not be uh, greener than it is now, but it would definitely be sustainable. Here is the context in Addis. If you see the tree per day per capita, it's very small, and they have also an average of some developed uh, seats of developed country, and the working distance is quite long. It's about 1.5 kilometer. The number of buses we have is one bus per 3,000. And our network, it's very much small. Motorization level, per hundred vehicles, you can see it's very low. Yet, the number of trips actually that we do per, di per day is also very low. The road traffic crashes around 12, so you see the number of cars are very small, and many people do work, and then you can Im Im immediately imagine that the, basically the fatalities are, uh, the victims of the fatalities are the pedestrians, and the institutions are very weak. So this is the whole general scope of the Addis Ababa. In, uh, based on this, kind of overall picture, what we did is, okay, we want to have a focus on the public transport and the traffic management uh, in general so that the, public, that the whole transport system can be very much improved. So we set six strategic directions. The first is to develop the infrastructure. There, there is a BRT network, public transport terminals, depots, bike share, all infrastructure required to improve both the public transport and the traffic management. The second is we're extensively increasing the supply of the public transport system, especially buses, as they really build the basics for public transport in the city. And the third is we've initiated a, a, a complete reform. Uh, it has been now two years since its, its implementation, a capacity development, mainly institutional reorganization, and also making sure that we have strategies, policies, even just we, we have launched an empty non-motorized transport strategy just now we can have a copy or self side. And another reform is the finance. We know uh, to sustain the investment, uh, the complete development of the public transport, we have to make sure that we have a sustained finance for the, t for the transport system of the city. So what we did is we have, uh, we have established a new office, transport fund office, that mainly have, uh, that basically the sources of the finance comes from the licensing, from the finance, everything it was in market basically for the transport system. So we subsidize the public transport, even we invest also in the infrastructure. And another what, where we're working is as, as the strategic direction is to make sure that we have coordination among all uh, s uh, stakeholders in the transport. For, uh, and finally, what we think, we don't have to reinvent the wheel, so we are making sure that we have partnership with different uh, international organizations. So this, this is a whole strategy that we're following. I, we can, I cannot go very detailed to the all initiatives pertinent to the strategies, but at the developing 
as a city of developing country, and uh, we really hope also in the development of these autonomous vehicles, where a se you know, self-driving vehicles are very much of um, uh, uh, useful for developing cities because the, the need for infrastructure will be very low because the vehicles are coming with their infrastructure, at least the ITS infrastructure, and then we will not need at least the enforcement, traffic management, and transport operation because the vehicles themselves will autonomously work it out. In that way, we can take the need for, transport, for infrastructure to be very much low. And of course, that way, then the sh these pri private vehicle owners somehow will share less the transport system. Uh, this, uh, as a future transport, I see a lot of potential, actually, in autonomous vehicles in uh, developing seats uh, in particular. Thank you. This was my presentation.